Hey, what's up guys? It's Tuber here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today I wanted to make an apology video to everybody in the community, including the people who have banned from the community or from the discord for basically no good reason and the people who I've pushed away. I just wanted to make a dedicated video letting you guys know just what the deal is and what's up. So one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video was so I could have some closure and so I could be more open and transparent with you guys. Cause I used to think that ignoring all my problems would make them better over time, but no. It just kind of, it just made things worse and worse and worse. And I just want to open up and I just want to talk about what I've been doing wrong and what I plan on improving. I feel like this video is important because it forces me to actually change because I'm making it public. And like, I feel like that's going to give me the motivation I need to actually get better. Cause like, you know, everyone's going to be on the same page. Like we're all going to be on the same page. You guys are going to know what's up with me. And like, it's, you know, it's going to force me to be a better person. That's my goal. I just, I want to be a better person and I want to be a better content creator and I'll do anything I can to make that happen. The first point is the elephant in the room and it's the reason why I got banned on Twitch for 30 days. And that is the fact that I continue to bring up suicide slash self-harm and I th keep thinking that it's the end of the world and that like I don't have much time left, but those are just some negative thoughts that just overwhelm me. One thing that I've realized over the last couple years is I need to improve when it comes to understanding my thoughts and keeping my composure. I don't intentionally try to bring up like negative stuff, but when I'm having a shitty day and I'm stuck in my own head, I just keep thinking extremely negative thoughts like I'm a loser, I'm a failure, I'll never amount to anything, like I'm just wasting my time, like I'm gonna die alone, like just like I have all these negative thoughts that constantly just keep coming back and I don't know how to like get them to stop. I let it not only consume me, but it got to a point where I was making my depressing thoughts public in my Discord, which I should have never done. Like I need to use that as motivation to get better and stop. The worst thing a YouTuber can do is talk about negative things because it doesn't just bring you down, it brings everyone else down. So I need to keep the stuff like that out of Discord, off of social media, and off of YouTube slash Twitch because it's a terrible habit and I need to stop it if I actually want to have a future making content. Because if I keep doing it, more and more people are just going to like be pushed away and like... I'm kind of like dooming my own future by like thinking that like the end is nigh and there's no point. <laughs> Next point. I'm not usually suicidal, but I have some days where I feel like it's the only option. But in reality, it's not. So if, if you're struggling, please see, please seek help. In the United States, you can call 1-800-273-8255, which is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. And depending on your country, the number should be different. So just, yeah, basically just Google the, your local like suicide hotline or just if you need help, there's, there's resources out there that can help you. Remember, like everybody who is alive is incredibly lucky to have a chance to experience life because like the chances of you being born were like one in a quadrillion, like the numbers are astronomically low. So it's crazy that, you know, I'm alive, you're alive, and all of us are here on this planet. The next point I want to talk about is my financial problems and how I let it affect me, even though it's not that terrible. Basically, five to six years ago, before I had any success on YouTube, I was legitimately broke. Like, in fact, at one point, I let my bank balance go negative multiple times and I didn't have a safety net or I didn't have savings to like fall back on. So that kind of conditioned me to like, I guess, save as much as possible and try to live in a sustainable way so it won't happen again. I'm not broke. I have enough money to like live off of for another one to two years. So if I took time away from YouTube, I would be okay. But living off savings isn't really a sustainable way to live your life. So I try to make more than I spend every month, which happens sometimes, but not all the time, not every month. It's just on the good months. But yeah, the income that I make comes from YouTube ads, super chats when I stream on YouTube um, and then on Twitch with the bits, subs and ads. And then um, on Teespring, there's the merch sales. And then of course we also have the Patreon too. And a hundred percent of the money that I make comes from those pl four platforms. And that's what I live off of. And I keep letting the stress affect me and it, it makes me have these irrational fears. And I've been really bad at keeping my composure. I think about the distant future as if it's literally tomorrow. I basically just want to be able to make content as long as possible because it's the thing that gives me my meaning in life. It brings me joy and like, I love making videos. I love streaming. When I upload a video and people really like it and it makes their day, like that makes my day just a little bit better to just see people happy. But I'm just afraid of becoming homeless because like, I don't think I could survive, but I have so much time to turn things around and get to a better spot where that'll never happen. Previously, I just gave up and accepted like that is like reality. Like, Hey, I'm going to go homeless. But if I, if I work hard and if I keep making content and if I stay happy and stay positive, only good things can happen. The next point is I always abuse my power in discord and I ban people who don't deserve it. And I ban people who don't even break the rules. It's a hundred percent based on emotion. And it's just like, it's like an emotional response where, you know, someone's like pissing me off. So I'm just banning them. Cause like they're pissing me off. That's pretty much it. I mean, not even everyone was like trying to be malicious. Not everyone was trying to be an asshole. Like 
a lot of them were giving genuine advice and I just pushed them off like, oh, that's just stupid, blah, 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 like this or that. And I just invalidated their opinions and like, I just felt really bad. Like, like my next point is, I'm sorry for betting the fans who are simply trying to help. I didn't want to hear it and I dismissed them simply for trying to help. And like, you can only be told the same thing so many times before it just gets really annoying and it just really gets under your skin. But banning people for telling me to get a job or sell my skins, like that's unjustifiable. Like there's, there's no reason to do that. They basically just told me things that I didn't want to hear and I got rid of them instead of just ignoring it and going on with my own life and focusing on my own things. And to that, I'm sorry I let all the fans down. Like all the people who have banned for just simply giving advice, I'm sorry to all of you. In hindsight, I realized they were just trying to help and I pushed them away and I have nobody to blame but myself for that for this one, honestly. The next point is one of the biggest catalysts for me being an asshole and being a person, becoming a person who I never wanted to become. And that was substance abuse. That's chapter three of this video. Back in the day, I used to have a really serious problem where I kept breaking monitors and I kept doing really self-destructive things. And around 15 months ago or so, I started smoking weed and almost instantly became more chill. And my anger in games just slowly went away. Like every once in a while, I still get a little upset, but back in the day, if I died once, oh my God, I was like ready to like yeet my entire, like, like basically back in the day, if I died just once, I was ready to just take my monitor and like throw it through my wall. <laughs> That's how pissed I got. But since I started smoking weed, it's been a lot better. And actually since 2018, I've only broken one monitor total, which I think is a pretty massive improvement because be before at my, literally at my worst point, I was literally breaking one every single month. And then one time I got two monitors and broke both of them on the first day I got them. Yeah, literally it was really effing stupid, but you, you can't really go back in time. You just, you have to own everything you did. You have to own your past and you just have to use it as motivation to improve in the future. That's, that's all you can really do as a human being. Smoking weed has really helped me relax for the first time in my life and think about things from a different perspective, which I think has been important in me growing as a person. But the bigger problem was the alcohol. So I guess like four or five months ago, I started drinking and at first it wasn't that bad. I was just drinking a little bit, but then over time, like I started to like, I don't know, I started to like let things get to me and I started to just start drinking more. Like I basically drank as a way to drown out my problems and my thoughts, but I, it just made things worse and it made things, it made me do so many stupid things like, well, obviously deleting the old discord server. As of February 16th, I haven't had any alcohols and I don't plan on going to get more anytime soon. Like I'm happier and I'm better without it. Like it made me do so and say so many stupid things that I didn't mean. It's actually kind of insane that it's legal. Like alcohol is legal everywhere, but you can't get weed. Like bruh, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Just because it's so dangerous because like honestly alcohol causes so much more harm both physically mentally and socially in moderation it's okay but it got to the point where i was drinking jack and like vodka every single day sometimes even in the morning like i just woke up and started drinking just because like i was like you know what i don't care <laughs> anyways the next point though let's move on though the next point is me obviously being forceful what does this mean so basically when a video did bad i used to spam it in the discord because i just thought like oh no one cares let me just spam this 20 times but Obviously, that's that's just gonna pit that just pissed people off like it didn't have the intended effect I just wanted people to you know check out the video and enjoy it and stuff But that was the, that was completely the wrong way to go about it The ways that I promoted my videos and the way that I told people that hey guys new video It just came across as me being desperate and that's basically what it was I don't know I just want to be happy and I just want to succeed so much that I allow it to consume me And I need to realize that being desperate just turns people off and I need to focus on actually making quality content And if I don't do that then and if even if the video don't do that great then like oh well who cares like it's just one bad video i just need to use that as motivation to make a better video the next day but i just let it defeat me in my mind like i just give up <laughs> it's just really hard to control these emotions under the pressure especially when my inner demons just constantly put negative thoughts in my mind like it's just like a it's like a cycle it's like a never-ending cycle of just like so many things i just got frustrated when not that many people watch the videos compared to like before and instead of being happy and grateful for the people who are there i unintentionally invalidated them and for that i'm sorry like i I need to think about the people who are here and not the people who used to be here. You gotta live in the moment, not the past. But yeah, pretty much I just have to focus on myself and focus on making high quality content instead of letting myself get too emotional and letting myself just sabotage everything that I've worked for and everything that I've accomplished. At the end of the day, I would be nobody and I would be nowhere without any of you guys watching. And and like, I don't know, I'm just so happy and grateful that I have such an amazing community and I just feel like I don't deserve any of you guys. I mainly just want to apologize to anybody who I've hurt, and I want to use this as motivation to get better. I feel like owning my past and owning my mistakes is the only way that I can like get better and improve as a human and get and make, you know, be a better content creator and just be a better person and just, you know, move on to do bigger and better things. 
But yeah, quitting drinking was the first step. And the next step is to continue to post frequently, stream and be the best person and best content creator I can be every single day. And I need to just remind myself of that like whenever I wake up. I'm going to return on Twitch on March 8th, so be ready. The streams are going to be way better, and I'm going to keep all negativity out. Same with the videos, same with the Discord, same with social media. Like, no more negativity from now on. I just want to spread, I want to spread a good message. I want to spread positivity, and I want to make people happy. And even if I'm feeling down, and I feel like I want to say something negative, you know, I'll just take a five-minute break, take a walk, meditate, you know, get, grab some food, watch some hentai, do whatever I need to calm myself down to get to a more positive mindset. Because if I continue to be self-destructive, at some point, nothing will be left and my life will spiral spiral out of control and it'll just get worse and worse and worse so i need to actively be in control of it all the time even if it's hard hey i know even if it's difficult i still have to try and put an effort and over time it'll become a habit and it'll become considerably easier because a lot of what you do a lot of the things that you do are purely habitual and the best way to like improve is just to get rid of bad habits and replace them with more positive habits so that's what I've been trying to do. I started going to the gym a couple months ago, so and I've been getting in shape. And I need to also focus on just trying to eat less unhealthy food so I can actually lose weight and get in shape. <laughs> I've been making a lot of changes to my life to just be happier because I spent so long just in one room doing nothing, just isolated. And that's just not a healthy way to live. Anyways, though, I'm going to continue to upload and stream and I never want to stop. And thank you to every single person in this community. Whether you watch the videos, comment, like, subscribe, watch the Twitch streams, follow me on social media and interact. Just every single one of you matter to me, and I appreciate the fuck out of all of you, okay? I don't care if this video gets demonetized, like, I'm motivated to getting better, and I'm so fucking lucky to have such an amazing community, and I just, I can't believe I didn't, I can't believe it took me so long to realize. Anyways, though, thank you for listening. I'm sorry to anybody who I hurt. I just, I, I want to put all that behind, and I want to move on. Like, I wanted to make this video so I could finally move on with my life and finally do bigger and better things. That's, that's the whole plan. And also, I want to be happier, too. I never want to stop, but it's my duty as a YouTuber to send a positive message, and I need to do just that. So, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for being a part of the Turbination. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.